Hey guys, welcome to another React Native tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create this perspective animation which takes input from the gyroscopic sensors of the device without wasting any further time. Let's get started. So here I have a bare React Native project setup. Before moving forward, we need couple of dependencies. The list is shown on the screen. So the first one is the React Native sensor so that we can get the sensor data. And the second one is the React Native Reanimated. Make sure you use the version 2 of Reanimated and it's recommended that you follow the official documentation for the installation. Let's start by reading the data from the gyroscopic sensor. For this, we need to import gyroscope from the React Native sensors. And we need to create a subscription for the sensor so that we get a continuous stream of data for this let's use the use effect of react so that we subscribe to the data stream whenever the components gets mounted use effect we need to import it from react let's give it a function an empty dependency array let's create a subscription equals to gyroscope dot subscribe let's take the values of x y and z axis let's console log them out x comma y comma z a good practice is to unsubscribe whenever the components gets unmounted so for this we need to return and function by calling subscription dot unsubscribe so let's give it a try open the console so here i have the virtual sensors of the android emulator so let's try to turn the device and yeah as you can see we are getting the x y and z values from the gyroscope now let's store these values in a state so for this let's use the use shared value hook from the react native reanimated import from the react native reanimated so let's create a variable called gyro value use shared value let's initialize with x0 y0 so for this we only need the x and y because we are translating this in a 2d plane and in the subscription call let's set the value of this variable with the values we are getting from the sensor x and y and let's set the dependency array that is gyro value dot value now next step is to derive the translation value from the sensor data before that we need to store the previous value of the translation for this let's create uh, another u shared value previous u shared value x0 y0 now let's create a function to derive those values derive translations use the use derive value so the catch is we need to map the y value of the gyroscope to the x value in the translation and vice versa because the axes are not same so let's use the previous value of x and let's add the gyroscopic value of y and we need to translate positive when the sensor values are negative so that we get that perspective effect so let's multiply this with minus one and similarly for y new y and let's map this with x and now let's change the previous values with this new values so that whenever we use the previous value next time we are getting these new updated values x new x y new y and let's return the same Now we need to map these derived value with the style transformation. 
so for this we need to create an animated style so let's create a variable called animated styles and let's create key with motion and let's use animated style from the react native reanimated which takes a function returns an object transform translate x with spring from the reanimated and the value is derived translations dot value dot x and similarly for the y map this with this view but for this we need to change this normal view to animated view so let's make a default import animated change this to animated dot view map those styles which we have created animated style start motion let's reload the app and give it a try if you notice this is going way out of bound like we don't want this to move that much so for this we need to send a maximum limit like how far we want this to move so for this we need to make sure that the derived value doesn't exceeds our limit let's create a variable called max x let's give it a value of 50 similarly max y let's give it a value of 50 now let's put a condition if new x is greater than equal to max x then the previous the new x becomes the previous x previous value dot x x can be negative so let's take a absolute value math dot absolute and similarly for the y let's reload the app and give it a try yeah so it's not going way too out of bound let's try to decrease the limit to 20 reload the app yeah so it's not going out of screen as it was going previously We are almost done with this. Now let's try another variation of moving the background instead of the UI. For this, we need to just copy these animated styles and paste it to the image. And we need to convert this image to an animated image. Let's reload the app and give it a try. Yeah, so as you can see the image is moving all right guys that's it for this tutorial if you like the video please hit the like button and please consider subscribing thank you and see you next time